Hello, hello, it's me. Um, I am coming to you direct from my kitchen <laughs> again, um, but we're not going to do the haul from my kitchen. We're going to do it from my desk, you know, right? I haven't done that in a while um, because it's been trashed and I've been so busy with everything else that I haven't taken the time to actually clean it off. So I finally put a gun to my head and told myself, you're going to get your big butt, but I said it, you know, a little more strongly worded, um, and you're going to get to your desk and you're going to clean it up and you're going to do your videos right this time because the last time I did my video um, in bed. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. Um, yeah, it's probably, you probably spotted that right away when you see my big puffy white blanket with all the stuff laid out but you know the cool thing was is I had company I had my dog and uh my kitty cat so but anyways yeah enough of improvising and doing it from different locations of the house so we are actually going to do it properly this time and I just wanted to pop on here and say hey um because I finally hit 2,000 subscribers and I wanted to thank you everybody um, you know, for, for being here, for supporting me and, you know, whoever thought somebody on the verge of 50 years old could make it on YouTube. Who knew? Who knew? Certainly not me, that's for sure. <laughs> but it amazes me. It amazes me and I'm just very, very happy and thankful that you guys are all here. Um, and uh, I really, 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 really appreciate it. So, um, I wanted to show my face just because I never do. And um, I thought this was a good occasion, 2,000 subscribers. Um, and that there is a person behind the voice that you hear all the time on my videos. It's just, I'm not a makeup person. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm a little lazy when it comes to that. I go all natural most of the time. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I just... I'm not a big makeup person. Huh? It's just too much effort, you know? <laughs> I don't know. There's so many beauty gurus on YouTube, so they're probably just cr cringing at me right now. But here we go, guys, and thank you for being here. We're back in my office and I am so excited because I have missed being in here because this is the the room not the only room but the room in the house that makes me feel the happiest I guess because it's got all my junk in it <laughs> you know I try to be not as weird in my other rooms I mean you know I'm still a little weird but not as weird. And my dude here, he has really been missing me. He's been so lonely and, you know, leaving me little notes here and there telling me, you know, get your butt in gear and clean up the rim so I can have some company on occasion. But, you know, I did switch things out a little bit. You'll probably see a lot of the same stuff, but there is some new stuff I added in here. Well, not new, you know, old, new. But, I'll show you what I got going on here and just give you a gander. And if you have any questions about any of my junk, <laughs> just leave it in the comment section. And if I can answer you, um, you know, tell you what it is, then I will let you know. But, uh, yeah, I just refreshed it a little bit and uh, moved stuff around. And, of course, I've got, I've got more. <laughs> more than I need, let's put it that way, um, but yeah, there's some, some old friends like him, he's still hanging, he's still hanging with us, and some, some new, like my, my clowny picture right there, he's a new guy, but yeah, I'm so happy to be back in here, I just, I feel, I feel better, <laughs> <laughs> I feel better. I need another, uh, you know, another cabinet to, to junk up. <laughs> because there are things that I have, like this chick right here, that I really still haven't found a home for yet. Because my cats, <laughs> 
decided that this tassels and stuff on here were, you know, something to play with. And this guy right here, um, they ripped the hat, and the hat off of it. And I found it, uh, fortunately found it, and uh, sewed it back on. But, yeah. Um, so, it needs to be in a higher place where uh, my kitties can't get a hold of it. So, there, there's things that I just haven't quite figured out yet. And this thing right here, <laughs> this brass bird cage that I have, um, I need to hang it up. Because, um, you know, it needs to not be on a surface. Because surface is a high dollar commodity in my house. Because I live in a small house. It's not very big. So, um, you know, any little space that I have is... Uh, desperately desperately needed so we are going to move on to the hall here and i have my handy dandy um i finally brought this out because i always forget to have my glasses well on well you know i lose my glasses let's put it that way i don't know how many pairs i have floating around the house but they never seem to be with me when i need them so um this guy right here will be the first guy that i show you look at the schnoz on him <laughs> he has got a big old nose but I think in my opinion that's what makes him cool because he's just so different and it's paper mache you see he's got a little few you know he's got a few little necks going on there but he's still he's still cool dude um I got him sitting on like a little miniature urn type thing like a little pedestal just so he's kind of sitting up so you can see him but normally, I mean, if I were just to sit him down, he would just kind of, you know, be crumpled, just sitting there crumpled, because the only solid thing on him is his, is his face. But yeah, um, he's like a hand puppet. You just put your hand up in there, and you can move his little hands around. He's an old dude. Um, vintage. And I'm pretty sure I paid around, eh, I'm thinking 40 bucks for him. I think he's well worth it. He's so unique. I don't know if he was modeled after like Punch and Judy Punch, um, because Punch had a pretty good not, uh, snoz on him. So maybe, possibly, don't know. I got this doctor's bag. It's leather. It still has the doctor's name on here. James R. Kirkpatrick, MD. Um, doesn't have a lock or anything on it, but this latch works. It's in good condition all the way around. Um, I was really ecstatic with it. I mean, it just has a few uh, bits of wear. Um, but I did have another doctor's bag. Um, it didn't have, you know, a doctor's name on it. But I went ahead and sold that one and decided to keep this one um, to go in my medical collection. Because I definitely wanted a doctor's bag. I just, I don't know. I just like this one a little bit better. It's got more of a grain to it. And I just like the fact that this was on here. And, um, actually, I got a pretty good price for that doctor's bag. I think I paid, like, I don't know, $40 for it, which is a great price. And then I paid $13 for this. And this, um, the hearts with the faces on them, they're just so hard to find. And they tend to go for more money. And this, this one right here is in excellent condition. And, uh. You know, it's been used, of course, to Irene from Freddie Miller. It's vintage. I don't necessarily think it's an antique at this point, but it's pretty old. And it's just awesome. I love the graphics. Found some more old doll eyes. Um, You know, they're called, like, uh, eyes, like the eyes on rockers. And... I just love these old eyes. I don't know. I just like sitting them around. This one is uh, different than all the ones I ever get. I normally get ones like these, you know. But this one goes side to side. And if you look, you can see what's left. <laughs> what's left of the eyeballs when I move this back and forth looks left to right. See that? Isn't that cool? So, and then I, I got more on the way, actually, but I only paid $25 for, um, for all four of these. So, I was just ecstatic because, um, I usually can get, 
about $20 a piece. So if I paid $25 for all four of these, then I'm doing pretty darn good. This wonderful fella. Here I'm chiming. Paper mache, um, more than likely Schoenhout, um, you know, Germany. He is in good condition. He just has a little schmush right there. I don't know what happened to his little hat, but that's about really all there is besides, well, I think he has one other spot on him right there. But he's in great condition. I was just happy with him. Um, I don't know if he's quite antique or not or if he's vintage, but all the other ones that I have that are paper mache like this from Germany, they're antique, so I'm leaning on antique probably for him. But he um, he was $50, and that's an excellent price because I can at least double my money on him. And I just, I just love these old clowns like this. I just think they're awesome. If y'all have hung in with me this long, then here is what I'm doing. I am doing a giveaway again. <laughs> I am so ecstatic about getting to 2,000 subscribers. I am giving away a packet of pictures. As you all well know, I got some pictures on my, um, my Etsy shop. And the most popular ones are these. We have the little girl with, of course, my favorite right there. And we have the little wolf child, <laughs> wolf baby that decided to take a bite out of Dolly. Then we have these creepy little pumpkin kids right here. And we have the witch. And I'm going to give away. There's going to be all four pictures. And all you have to do is make sure you're like and subscribe. And also leave a comment in the comment section. So however many comments you leave in the comment section is however many times you are entered to win. Now this guy I am just in love with. Look at him. Is he not awesome? I just love him. Now, he didn't come this way. He is a string holder. See that? You would put... I paid $55 for this guy. I don't know what he's made of. Um, but he's heavy. And it's got this um, wire, um, you know, built in or fired in or however <laughs> however they did it. But you'd put a ball of string back here and then um, hang it on your wall. And then the string will come out of his out of his mouth right there. But isn't he cool? Um, I repainted him. I'll um, insert some pictures of what he looked like before. Um, I think it was just a basic uh, mold here that you would get. And then, you know, people would paint, the, paint it or whatever how they wanted to. It's definitely an old piece. Because um, it's, it's modeled after, you know, the trip to the moon. That really old, um, you know, picture with no sound. I have that on my TikTok, uh, on my uh, TikTok page. I've got a video of it, but I just love it. And I, I couldn't handle, <laughs> I couldn't handle the old, the old paint that was on there. I just, it wasn't giving me any good vibes. And I knew he had a lot more potential. So I sat down one evening for, I don't know, probably three hours and painstakingly figured out what I was going to do with him and what colors I was going to use and stuff. And so I ended up repainting him hoping that he would turn out better and not worse because <laughs> I'm not an artist by no means so um I think I was pretty happy with them I I just I I took me forever <laughs> well I don't know what else to say but <laughs> see see she she's had a rough life she's got a little dent in her forehead <laughs> and she's she's a little peeved I guess maybe I don't know she's got her little lips pinched together but I mean I tried to clean her off and she's 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 a filthy little girl and that's the way she's gonna stay because I can't get the dirt off of her she's not a bear or a bunny or anything like that um I'm not quite sure because there's no ears and I don't see any evidence that there was ears on here that they've possibly been ripped off but I just thought she was cute. I don't know. I like it when there's kind of questionable <laughs> origins here. You know, I don't know. What, what are you? <laughs> put, 
I don't know. I don't think, uh, I think it was like 15 to $18 was too much to spend for her because she looks like she's in pretty good shape otherwise. And, you know, if you already know my taste in dolls, you know that when they're a little grungy and kind of crusty and crackly, then, you know, I'm all in that. Hi, it's, I guess. it's cool. Hi. It's been a while since y'all seen me. Yep. He's planning on, uh, Joining, I'll be, y'all be seeing me around summertime when she goes back to the market. The flea market? Mm hmm And look how long his hair's gotten. <laughs> he keeps wanting to cut his hair, and I keep telling him, no, no. I'll probably cut this off, but. Yeah, I've been calling him Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys already know to expect the unexpected when it comes to me. So, uh, those of you who have been watching me for a while, this is not going to be... You know, the shock. <laughs> we have a hand in the house. <laughs> it is a prosthetic hand. Um, vintage. Close to antique, but not quite. I would think this is probably from around maybe the 30s or 40s. We have a little issue here. We have a little breakage. But you can see the metal in there. Cool, right? I even thought about taking the skin off of it and mounting it onto something, kind of like the Terminator thing. <laughs> I don't know. You know, this is the kind of stuff that goes through my mind. But I thought it was cool, and I got a really good price on it. I paid like $50, I think, for this, which is unheard of. Um, I mean, these things are outrageously expensive. So, I don't know how I ended up getting it, but I managed to get it, and I am just really happy that I did. Um, it stops right here. So, this is a sleeve that would have went up over the person's, you know, arm. And then there's a metal attachment in there. It's got like a long metal string thing or whatever that attaches. And it does have some articulation. Um, so, it's just a really cool medical piece, prosthetic piece, um, that I have listed in my shop. Okay, moving on from the hand. <laughs> I got some more medical stuff. This is iodine. It says three vials per package. I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. Is there three? I think there was three and I kept one for myself. But I paid um, like maybe around 10 or $12 for this. But it's cool because it's a vintage piece, but it's new old stock. And see how it's got the poison with the skull and crossbones? And it is, looks like a Bakelite uh, screw top or pop-off lid. And it still has <clears throat> some of the iodine in it, which is cool. And for people like me that like to collect vintage medical or oddities and curiosities, this is like... Uh, you know, cool when you find stuff like that that's new old stock that doesn't have, you know, a lot of damage to it. So I grabbed those. And then I also got some cat gut, which is suture material. And I got a box that's never been used. And uh, it's for, you know, surgery. And look at all of them in there. I'll take one out so you can see it. But it's in there. See that in there? That's the suture material. Well, it's not wanting to focus here. There we go. What does that say? I think the same thing on the box. Come on and focus, you turd. There we go. Well, went out of focus again. There we go. I knew you could do it. But yeah, cool is all get out. Especially for somebody like me. Because I love this stuff. So yeah. I got a whole container of these. And I think it was somewhere between $35 and $40 for this container. And, um, you know, I'm definitely going to get my money back on these. Because I can get, um, what is there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... So, I can probably get about $120 plus, you know, shipping on these guys. So, yeah. Definite score. I thought these were were just cool. And, yeah. They're pre-sterilized, I guess. But, awesome. Definitely awesome. Um, more medical. 
<laughs> these right here, these are new old stock. They're vintage. Um, they are Humphreys homeopathic preparation. And there are different ones. Some are for like headaches, coughs and colds, fevers. This one says for simple disorders of urinary tract. And some of them have the ingredient, if you look there at the last one, belladonna. So I was happy to get these. Um, these were between $35 and $40 also. And I can get about, eh, about $20 a piece on these. And they are... Um, you know, they're glass vials with a plastic stopper. Some of these, some of these were older. Um, I've got an older one that's got like a cork stopper, but they've never been opened. They've got full, um, you know, full vial of pills in them. So, you know, if you do buy them from me or buy one from me, don't eat them. <laughs> don't eat them. Dun, 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 dun. Have you ever seen anything like it? Is he not awesome? Look at this dude. He's borderline cute, borderline creepy. And that is awesome. He's in great condition. Look at him. Look at him. He does have a little smush right here. And a, and a little discoloration up there. But other than that, this dude is awesome. He was $20. And I think he was well worth it. Because, like I've said in the past... If you see something you've never seen before and you let it slip through your fingers, you will think about that. <laughs> you know, you'll think about it five years down the road. You'll be like, darn it, I've still never seen another one and I'll never see another one again. So grab that sucker when you find it. He is in my shop. He is awesome. And um, yeah, he's just a cool piece. Great if you love clownies. And he's, he's I mean, if, look at my hand. He's a big dude. He's a big dude. So, I got him. And then this. I think I paid $35 for this. It is silk. It's a pretty silk. And it's got this Lions International. Summer's New York. Cradle of the American Circus. Isn't that cool? It's got the fringe and the tassels, and you can hang it on the wall. And it's such a, a compact size that it would pretty about fit just about anywhere, I think. But it's just a cool piece. You don't run across stuff like this. So I had to have it, of course. You know how I roll. And this lovely fella right here, he was about 15 to $18.00. And he is fantastic. We have a circus theme going on right now. But look at the schnoz on him. And guess why? It's because he's a toy. He's got this wood ring. And then you try to get it on his schnoz. And he's just cool. Look how thick that wood is. It's just crazy. But I've had the um, cardstock ones before that were different. But, you know, similar. It was get the ring on his nose. Same concept, but this guy just has a little bit of wear right here. It's actually not a chip in the wood. It's actually just wear of the paint. But I just thought he was cute and needed to come home with me, of course. Now, what else do I have here? I've got the ephemera. This needs to come out of here because it'll look better. This is staying with me. And you'll see why. It says, smile and never let the sun set on your troubles. Set on them yourself. Isn't it cute? I just thought it was so unusual. And it's an antique postcard. It is 1910, I think is what that says. And I didn't sit down and actually read it, which I need to. Because I can actually read their handwriting. Some of these people have had, you know, some questionable uh, cursive. And it looked like they maybe were a doctor's. Because I just really couldn't read it. But, yeah. I thought it was cool. And I paid upwards of $20 for this. Of course, I'm going to pay a little bit more if it's something I'm going to keep. But I just thought it was so unique and I had to get it. I thought it was cool. 
These guys were $10 a piece, and these are keepers too. I'm probably going to use them, which I already have. Um, these are the photo postcards. You've probably run into them yourself, but they're French. And um, they say, well, I'm about to break my wrist trying to turn it over the other way. Here, wait a minute. If anybody knows French, there you go. And they're both um, handwritten. They're, where does that say? I knew there was a date on here. But they are antiques also. And the handwriting on the back of here looks like it's been done by, of course, you know, one of your old pens that's been dipped in ink. And that really attracted me to them because they are great photo props. And I just thought these pictures were just so cute. They're the old, um, the old clowns, like Piero clowns. And they're little, little kids. I just thought they were so cute. I just keep saying that. They're just so cute. Can't help myself. This, we're going to look through this here. Because this is Sloan's Handy. Hence, an up-to-date cookbook. An up-to-date cookbook from 1901. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, I'm slightly curious as to what types of foods... I kind of thumb through it. We've got bread. <clears throat> and it gives you all the directions, of course. Is, you know, we got raisin bread and regular bread. No sticky plasters for pain inside our chest. Slim's liniment. So, of course, they're going to use some uh, space in here for advertising. But what else do we have here? We have drop, drop biscuits. Cream biscuits. Plain soda biscuit. I guess we're going... Alphabetical order, possibly. We have hot buns, graham gems, popovers, Johnny cakes, lemon pie, lemon cream pie. I'm just glancing through these. What else do we have? We have gooseberry pie, tapioca pudding, boiled apple dumplings. Yeah, <clears throat> I think I paid $15 for this book. Dr. Parker's Sure Kidney Pills. Dr. Parker's One Dose Liver Pills. Anti-dyspeptic -dys tablets. A kidney cure. <laughs> Cracks me up. That terrible pain. Let's read this. Every woman who has once experienced the distressing pains that sometimes accompany the monthly functions or who is subject to irregularities and other forms of female weakness will welcome the relief that comes from using Dr. Parker's sure kidney pills. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see what it says. When a woman suffers from bearing down pain, backache, and cramps just preceding the monthly illness. It's called a monthly illness. Okay. Headache wafers. Dang, they got a whole lot of advertising in here. Then we have a chain. Hmm. A lot of medical advertising in here. I guess so. What do we have now here? We have vanilla ice cream, pineapple sherbet, fruit ice cream, chocolate ice cream. Hmm. What else do we have here? Chocolate cake, nut cake, cream cake. You know, we need to try one of these recipes. Donuts, ginger snaps, gingerbread. Bouillon, corn soup, tomato soup, beef soup. Hmm. Roast meats, beef stew. Oh, 
What else do we have here? Scalloped fish, the stuff and bake fish, codfish balls, fried fish. And let's see, Welsh rabbit, stewed tomatoes, baked beans, and new potatoes. Nothing really funky. What do we have here? Sure kidney pills, liver pills, and the antidyspeptic pills. What's we got going on here? Don't drive a cripple. For aches and pains, use Sloan's liniment. Take no other called just as good. Okay. <laughs> Don't be a cripple. That's funny. I'm telling you. What's this one? Back say Sloan's liniment is the best in the world. Yeah, but you know what initially got me, of course, was this. So happy that you guys could be here and hang out with me for a little while. I hope you enjoyed my haul. Um, and like I said, uh, I think majority of it's so I've already listed in the shop. There are some items, again, that I'm keeping for myself. But majority of it is in the shop, so. And um, I guess I probably will see you guys again maybe in a week something like that hopefully before a week is up I can get out and get some uh, more goodies or find some more goodies so until next time guys see you later